So Deep, I can't see you. Sip Raju. Sip Sanjay Das, missed you for a few days. I hope you are well. Sip Ru Mataji, audio video theek hai. Sip Vijay, welcome back. Sip Samita, Sip Mutkula Anand, Sip Kumar Swami, Sip Ashok Chotwani, Sip Bharat, the supreme immortal power in Bharat. Everybody, when I greet you as Sip, please understand I'm wishing. The supreme immortal power in Gautam, Sip Gautam, Sip Rais. Unfortunately, I am not able to meet you next week, Rais. Uh, Sip Paratyama, Sip Sangam Gupta, Sip Atmatray, Sip Gaurish. And I realize my camera is on on the other phone. So let me switch it off. Sip Bridget, Sip Dasi, I can't see you very clearly. Sip Rekha, Sip Eru, Sip Ashok Nichani. Welcome to the call. I was telling you that I was supposed to meet Tanu Chopra, Sip Tanu Chopra, Sip Sagairaj. I was supposed to go to Maldives next week and supposed to go to meet Rais uh, in Kashmir, but unfortunately, this body has been declared with COVID. So I have, I'm supposed to have COVID. <laughs> I know, not me, but my body. So you understand therefore, whether the body has COVID and has Omicron or Domicron or Delta or Melta, it makes no difference, right? Only some protocols we have to follow. So let us quickly get to the more meaningful subject. And the meaningful subject today is a very, very interesting subject. Administrators putting it for your reference. What will enlightenment give? What will enlightenment give? I think today we will not have time for any other questions. Let us see how much into the subject have you have you gone deeply? So who would like to start? Sure. What, what will enlightenment give? Excited, first excited person is Ashok Nichani. Yes, Sip Ashok. Shivam sir, sir, enlightenment, enlightenment will give us bliss, peace. Okay, enlightenment will give you bliss. We'll go one by one. Bliss and peace. A chance. Enlightenment will give you bliss, no doubt. Because enlightenment will make you realize the true meaning of happiness. Enlightenment is not pleasure. The body wants pleasure, the mind wants pleasure. But enlightenment is ananda. And that ananda, that eternal happiness, the everlasting happiness comes from enlightenment. Thank you, Ashok. Who would like to go next? What will enlightenment give? May I, Guruji? After Bharat Patel. Bharat Patel and then Rumata Ji. Bole Bharat Patel. Hi. Uh, actually, enlightenment, enlightened person can only tell the right answer from his first-hand experience. But... Being on the path, I'm experiencing the glimpse of fulfillment, peace of mind, containment, and inner happiness. Monkey is getting calm and less violent day by day. Thank you, Guruji. Amazing. So Bharat Patel <coughs> gives us a second point. Enlightenment will give you peace. Ashok Nichani said, enlightenment will give happiness. But Bharat Patel said, Enlightenment will give, will give peace, which is the basic foundation of happiness. Because when there is no peace, there can be no happiness. You may have all the happiness in this world. I can give you all the happiness. But if you have no peace of mind, if your mind is a monkey and it steals the peace, what did Bharat say? My mind is no more a monkey. I am, make, I am taming the monkey mind every day by day because enlightenment will enlighten you. It will enlighten you and you will become the divine soul. And you will transcend the monkey mind and you will become a peaceful monk. Very good. Who else would like to? Rumata Ji, Bataji. Guruji, I have four points. Ek, 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 one by one. Pahle ek bataye. Phir hame aur ek bataye. We'll, we'll, give, we'll try to go because this is a very interesting discussion. This so, ask air is for enlightenment. Correct? 
and if this ask care is for enlightenment but what will enlightenment give if this only we don't know then why should we come on the call every day so we already finished two points enlightenment will enlightenment will give eternal happiness enlightenment will give peace rumata ji ek batai tell me one thing enlightenment what is what will enlightenment give ram guru ji it will remove our ignorance what we generally think we are the body mind and the ego we come to realize that we are the divine soul very good so enlightened enlightenment according to ru mata ji enlightenment will eliminate the ignorance which what she means to say enlightenment will take out the myth and make us realize the truth most of us are slaves of the myth for example we are taught god is in heaven we are taught that my mother and father after they die my mother and father have gone somewhere we only burn the body we only burn the body after we burn the body we are doing agarbatti ka puja are ka agarbatti ka puja kyu karta hai the person's journey is over but this is what enlightenment does rumata ji good point rumata ji says enlighten enlightenment which is on the light to overcome the darkness of ignorance rumata ji keep your points ready i will give you a chance to tell again okay who will go next prabhakar prabhakar says enlightenment will give better understanding of the world okay it's okay Even thank you till we are alive and after death the body it will give moksha so i am taking the point prabhakar says enlightenment will give moksha ultimate enlightenment will give nirvan enlightenment will give salvation you see enlightenment enlightenment is the most exclusive gift in the world the richest of man in the world the most powerful prime minister president dictator of the world cannot be half as powerful as an enlightened person an enlightened person is free an enlightened person is free from problems free from misery for example today i got covid they told me i got covid i said thank you i got covid for the second time it's okay because it will come and it will go but this is because you realize that it's just a show and you realize everybody has to die so tomorrow it may be i and so what so you don't have any fear you eliminate fear worry stress anxiety because you are enlightened with the truth so pravaka said the most ultimate thing enlightenment will give it will give moksha nirvan that is the ultimate thank you prabhaka for your good good answer who else we rumata ji is ready in the line if nobody else is there i'll go to rumata ji tanu chopra shivoham guru ji hope you Shibohan. recover soon uh, guru ji it will take away the fear of death from us and also uh, it will make us love all the rules in everyone um and we'll uh, we'll come to we'll come to know that energy is there same energy is there in everyone and in divine also and um, we will not fe feel and for anything we'll not feel fearful so you told many things na huh? uh, tanu told so many things what should i pick from tanu's answer tanu said enlightenment will take away fear and enlightenment thought said very beautiful enlightenment will make us love the soul the ruh how many people can love the ruh what happens is normally we are chasing the bodies we don't realize that by chasing the body ultimately we are going to be unhappy because guaranteed all love for the body ends in misery it is only divine love ishq hakiki ishq agape love agape that gives you divine love divine soulful beautiful blissful love but instead of that when we are not enlightened you may be love like laila majnu or romeo juliet or shri fara all this love is just earthly love hollywood and bollywood love that's why we get so carried away by this love story and, uh, but enlightenment enlightenment makes you love the soul makes you love the divine 
the god or the goddess inside the body not the skin but the one within thank you uh, tanu who else would like to go here i can tell here yes gautam you can tell uh, what rumata uh, what rumata ji told about ignorance i want to add in that uh, enlightenment gives us god realization god realization so very good that's not what rumata ji said but what you are saying is a new point i appreciate your point gautam gautam says enlightenment gives us god realization today only i wrote a bhajan even though i have a covid i wrote a bhajan ke the bhajan says tum prabhu ko kyu dhoondta hai tum prabhu ko kyu dhoondta hai prabhu tum bhagwan ko kyu dhoondta hai bhagwan to hai insaan mein jo bhagwan ko dhoondta hai wo use kabhi nahi pata hai ashok nichani ko main bahut time bolta hu ashok nichani ko main bolta hu ashok nichani tum rameshwar jao to picnic ke liye jao tum raha go for picnic don't go to find god you will never get god you will never get god in rameshwar kedarnath badrinath no but go for picnic go for holiday but realize god in one and all god is the room god is the atma god is in you god is in me god is everywhere this is called god realization but we don't realize so gautam give a beautiful answer the enlightenment gives you god realization when you switch on the light i often tell dasi i tell dasi when you switch on the light you see your warehouse is full of diamonds and crystals now if your manager tells you there are no diamonds and crystals he cannot cheat you because you are enlightened you saw it you realized it once you realize it you don't have to memorize it when you realize it you know it you don't have to ask yourself where is my nose you know you realize your nose is here you don't have to be fooled by that rekha parwani shivo shivo um we can't we can't hear you rekha enlightenment makes us realize to live yes. like yogi enlightenment makes, makes us realize to live like a yogi eternal bliss and to be connected to god okay enlightenment hmm creates in us divine yes. yoga enlightenment yeah. creates in us that the union with the divine so this yes. is a beautiful thing what enlightenment does it connects mm. the uh, connects the atma to the parmatma yes what does enlightenment do it connects the atma, atma to the to parmatma, parmatma. yes yeah. so this is called yoga this is called divine union yoga mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what enlightenment does. Very good. Hmm. We will go to Ashok Chotwani. Shivam sir. Shivam. Sir, an enlightenment person always live in Sat Chit Anand. Sir. Very always good. Always live in Sat Chit Anand. Sir. The enlightened person has no worry and fear. What Ashok says, they don't worry. Suppose there's a truck coming behind you and you think the truck is going to hit you, you don't worry. If you are driving a car and you don't know how to drive a car for the first time, you are driving a car. What do you realize? You realize nothing. Why fear when the divine is here? The sat chit anand. What is the meaning of sat chit anand? Sat chit anand means that you live in the chit of sat and you experience ananda. How does that ananda come? That ananda comes from consciousness. So Ashok Chowdhury, what a beautiful point. enlightenment gives you sat chit anand what is this consciousness this consciousness is everything is a show everything is a leela everything is a maya god is inside me i am not alone i am not alone god is with me i am not alone sip is with me ha huh? what do you always keep telling yourself dasi knows my guru used to always say this i am not alone god is with me whenever you have fear what must you say i am not alone my sip is with me my sip is with me and your sip is what it is the supreme immortal power so this is sat chit anand good uh, ashok chotwani who else would like to say to this bargain so while i am alive in this body it will give me the freedom from the sorrow that i normally draw from the materialistic world freedom and from after the... the death of this body Freedom from sorrow. Death of this body. 
sorry sir sorry freedom from sorrow you said right freedom from the sorrow which i yes, normally okay. draw because of the my materialistic engagements that i do yes yes agreed agreed and after the death it will lead me to the unification with my beloved that is the god and liberate me from the cycle of life and death amazing what does a person who is not enlightened have a problem biggest problem we suffer we suffer pain of the body misery of the mind agony of the ego now today sudhi you know how many tablets they have given me they have given me 12 type of tablets they have given me azithrol they have given me dupulofir they have given dolo they have given easy they have given montac they have given some 10 12 tablets to take i say you give any tablet for the body it doesn't matter to me somebody asked me are you going to have zoom call today i said why i am alive you know i am alive no no not like that you got covid i said so if i got covid so what happens you when the moment you realize the truth you are an enlightened soul then you overcome the body will suffer but you don't experience the suffering the body will have pain but you don't have suffering so one overcome pain of the body two you overcome misery of the mind you know what the mind does what the mind does it makes a divinely soulful being into a miserable donkey what does the mind do a divine divinely soulful intelligent being the monkey makes into a donkey what the monkey does it makes us realize all the wrong things it takes us in the wrong direction it makes us do all the wrong things then it makes us cry it makes us miserable we become helpless and i am also a part of that when my mind is a monkey it makes me a donkey so sudeep says very good we suffer pain of the body misery of the mind agony of the ego for people who are new to this call uh, many of you including i see i see new faces vijay israni why do we get anger hate revenge jealousy bharat patel this is because of the ego the ego is the cause of anger hate revenge and jealousy i am not sure uh, how many of you um, are new to this concept of how the anger how the ego creates so much of this poison that we become agonized so sudeep excellent answer sudeep said that enlightenment overcomes suffering on earth and liberates from rebirth and before rumata ji gets irritated at me i'll give her a chance to give one more answer and then continue rumata ji abhi aap aap ek boliye no no aisa mat sochiye first you take care of your health i am too much worried pehle aap apna khayal rakho main to bilkul theek hu kaha ho aapko Mere... to corona ho gaya hai <laughs> boliye boliye kya aap enlightenment se aap abhi aap aap itni badi badi baatein karte hain अब फिर कोरोना के लिए डरते हैं क्या है बात है रू माता जी ओके ओके माँ को बेटे माँ को बेटे की चिंता होती है <laughs> मेरी माँ तो हर हर घंटा फोन ऑफिस में फोन करती है मेरी माँ हर वन आवर फोन करके पूछती है कैसे है मेरा बेटा कैसा है क्या हुआ इसलिए मैं कई माता जी को बोलता हूँ तुम अपने बेटे से इतना अटैच मत हो हा? मैं कई माओ को बोलता हूँ कि तुम अपने बेटे से इतना अटैच हो जाएगी ना तो तुम दुखी हो जाएगी इतना अटैच मत हो बताइए रो माता जी बताइए अभी गुरु जी एनलाइटनमेंट सेव्स अस फ्रॉम ड्यूअलिटी यस और दूसरे व्हाइल डूइंग कर्मस वी डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एनीथिंग वी थिंक वी आर डूइंग थ्रू गॉड ओके तो टू पॉइंट्स आई आई कंबाइन बोथ द पॉइंट्स माता जी सेस रो माता जी सेस दैट enlightenment makes us realize that we are all one bridget rekha tanu rumata ji we are not four we are one atmatray ashok mohan bharat roop raju all one we appear as different on the outside but in the inside we are all one so this is one thing enlightenment creates it creates non duality it creates that oneness right and she said one more point aapne aur kya bola uh dusra point kya bola tha if we 
who karmas through God. Uh -huh. So, so when it creates that non-duality that we are all one, then it makes us an instrument of God, and we are free from karma. There is no karma. Enlightenment liberates us from all karma, janam janam ka karma, and that is the biggest gift of enlightenment. When you are carrying the bhoj, you are carrying the bhoj of how many janmas. How many lifetimes karma you are carrying and carrying and carrying and carrying and carrying. And one day you get enlightened, you drop all your karmas. And you are free. Okay, next. Atmatre. Sure, sir. Sir, so I on. want to live in the state of Jivan Mukta. The, I think enlightenment uh, will lead me up to that state. Enlightenment uh, will lead any leads you to Jivan Mukta. Yeah, very good point. Atmatrai brought a beautiful point. What is this point for people to be clear about? Enlightenment leads you to a state of Jivan Mukta means that when you are alive, it makes you experience Nirvana, Moksha, salvation. When you are alive, you're not yes. dead. Okay, what people think normally you can get nirvana or moksha after you die. Correct? Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's true. No doubt. But what enlightenment does, it gives you that feeling of mukti and moksha when you are alive. And this is called a state of jivan mukta. Jivan mukta is the one who has achieved mukti. So you must understand that enlightenment is the only way. It is called Sat Darshana. Sat Darshana means when you get the Darshana of the Sat, when you get the realization of the truth, okay. then you become a Jeevan Mukta. A Jeevan Mukta means although you are Jeevit, although you are in the Jeevan, you have already attained Mukti. You become a liberated soul. You become one who has attained salvation or God, even without dying. What does mm. enlightenment being see? He experiences God in one and all. And this is a very beautiful thing. Okay, next. Girish says, uh, free from the cycle of death and rebirth. Enlightenment liberates us from rebirth. This is uh, partly said by Sudhi, but uh, Girish is giving it as a separate answer. Otherwise, let me explain to you. We human beings, all of us, let me ask Vijay Israni, who's so keenly listening to me. Dear Vijay, can anybody escape from death? Not that I know of. Nobody <laughs> can. <laughs> Every human being has to die, right? Yes. So what yes. happens is, unfortunately, when we die, we don't understand what happens after that. Because, because what happens we know death is certain. Up to death, we know. We see people are dying. Every day we see somebody dying. Then, people burn our body. Why do they burn our body? If we were alive in that body, would they dare burn us? No, no. definitely not. Sure. What do they say? They say, he passed away. They say, he passed away. That's why we will burn the body. But we still don't understand. Where did I go? Some people say, when you pass away, you go to heaven. But the question comes, if the body is burnt, then who goes to heaven? And how do we go to heaven? And where is this heaven? So enlightenment gives all the answers. Enlightenment in very simple terms makes us understand the simple principle of death, the simple principle of birth. Enlightenment makes us understand that my birthday is not my birthday. I was born nine months before. Although many people, they celebrate with balloon and food and cake. But only an enlightened being knows that the birthday is fake. Huh? The others will celebrate with balloons and wine and cake. But the enlightenment being knows that my birthday is fake. So thank you, um, Vijay, for joining us. And I'm happy that you are one of Vijay, Mohan, are many new persons, Bharat Patel, are many new members of our family who have joined us. 
and it gives me great joy to have you in the call. So who else would like to say? Tanu Chopra, one more? Or Mohan, let me get on to Mohan. Mohan, let me know what's your view. What does enlightenment give? Please unmute, yeah. Please unmute, Mohan. To start with uh, what I've been thinking uh, that in order to become enlightened, uh, in order to become an enlightened person, you got to first be aware of what, of your actions and of your thoughts. So once you are aware of your actions or once you have the knowledge and awareness comes in, that is the first step. Like giving an example of Lord Krishna and Arjun, uh, on the, on the battlefield, uh, Arjun refused to fight the war. But after listening to Lord Krishna, he became enlightened. And after becoming enlightened and aware that he's going to go to war and kill his cousins and brothers. Like today, Dasi in the office, he told me he got, uh, he lost his temper on somebody, uh, got angry, not temper, got a ang little angry, but then he realized immediately that he should have not lost his temper and he phoned the office staff and apologized. Wow, amazing. So, so, so that is, he, he, he was, he's aware. He immediately became aware of what I did was wrong, of his actions, of his speech. So that I consider as a roadmap, a path towards being enlightened. And like today we are, we, I mean, we are here on this uh, group chat. So it is a process. We are listening to you. We are gaining knowledge. We are becoming enlightenment and on the path, we are on the path of be becoming aware of our actions and thoughts. So am I wrong? Uh, no, no, you, are, you, have said, you have said something very beautiful. Let me, let me put it right. Let me put it in, in place, what you are saying. So Mohan says something very beautiful. Mohan says, what does enlightenment give us? Mohan is stepping one step back. He's saying the journey, the journey of enlightenment is improving us as human beings, is getting us on the right track, is helping us to leave the wrong world and get to the right world. It is helping us to get aware. And only when we get aware, if Arjuna had not got aware or got enlightened, he would not be able to win this war. And what is this war we are talking about? We are talking about the war to defeat the demons in our life. We are not worried about Krishna and Arjuna. They are all gone. They are stories. We are only referring to those stories. But Mohan said something very beautiful. And um, Dasi, I can't see Dasi live on the picture. But for example, he, he shared something. When Dasi realized, Dasi is listening every day that God is in every individual. Dasi is listening every day that we are all sick. And Dasi is also listening every day that getting angry is losing control. It doesn't help because it's just a show. What is the point of getting angry? So this is part of that awareness which Mohan talked about. Part of that knowledge becoming realization. See, only because of Dasi's realization, he called back the office. If it was just knowledge, his ego would not have let him call. So he has overcome his ego. He is able to big thing to overcome the ego and to call a staff and to tell them, I'm sorry, I got angry. It's a great achievement. So this, when you let go of the ego, uh, Mohan, I don't know if you've heard this. E G O. Yeah. E G O. Oh. When you let go of E, E is I, then G O D appears. When you let yeah. go of E G O, then G O D appears. God appears. So this is this is a beautiful Wait. thing. Thank you. And uh, I must appreciate though Dasi is not uh, on video, but Dasi brought friends like Mohan and even Vijay. They're all friends. And you all must introduce this call. To your friends on Friday, we are talking about life coach, and Dasi is doing a big help to try to get people who want the subject to get to ask questions and to interact and to give their views. And I'm grateful to all of you who are doing that. Uh, Friday, this is our subject. Thank you, Mohan. We have uh, Tanu. Tanu, please. Uh, Guruji, it will also help us to bring our mind in the present moment so that we don't stay in the past or worry about the future. And it will reduce the number of thoughts that we are having and will make the voice of our consciousness more strong. And we'll be able to analyze uh, if, we are, if we are doing something wrong. 
आपने तो पूरी मेरी पूरी किताब बता दी है मेरे किताब में जो भी लिखा आपने पूरा बता दिया मेरे किताब में तो तनु से एनलाइटनमेंट हेज गॉट मेनी ब्यूटिफुल गिफ्ट वॉट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट आई गोट टू रिपीट फॉर तनु वॉट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू सेट इट विल हेल्प अस टू बी इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट दैट इज इट सेल्फ अलॉट enlightenment makes us live life moment by moment can you live tomorrow today can you live the next one hour today but you know what we are doing we are all the time living with worry we are all the time living with fear we are all the time living with desire oh i will be happy if i get this i will be happy if this happens i am not happy today a person who says that i will be happy if that person will never be happy that person can never be happy if you want to be happy learn to count your blessings if you want to be happy be now be happy now you can't become happy what does enlightenment teach us enlightenment teaches us you can't become happy you have to be happy you have to be happy and happiness doesn't depend on success that's why all successful people are not happy but all happy people are successful all successful people are not happy but all happy people are successful so thank you tanu who else would like you know today is the first call that we started with the topic and people have no other chance to only such a beautiful topic somebody asked me this question somebody asked me the question what will enlightenment give guru ji we, we have not finished that huh? we can continue with one more session of course i will not continue because it loses the fun but enlightenment gives you all this enlightenment gives you all this and more and still we throw enlightenment out of the door enlightenment gives you all this and more but you throw enlightenment out of the door because of that rascal monkey mind enlightenment you don't find ha huh? unless you kill the mind kill the mind before the mind kills you bridget says and then ruma taji after bridget bridget says with enlightenment we are able to discriminate the truth and the myth we accept whatever happens around and we surrender we become in union with the divine and everything around us See what a beautiful answer, my friend, sweetheart. How nicely, my friend, dearest Bridget from Quebec. How nicely she puts it. Although she struggles to understand my English, but I understand her answer so beautifully that I modify it so all of you can understand the answer. So Bridget said so nicely. She said, "Enlightenment gives us the power of discrimination." You know what is discrimination? We human beings are slaves of the mind. we are controlled by thoughts of the mind enlightenment stops the mind activates the intellect and makes us discriminate black and white wrong and right enlightenment she said something more beautiful enlightenment makes us live a life of acceptance kesara sara whatever will be will be the future is not ours to see that is surrender so she said acceptance because enlightenment makes enlightenment makes you realize whatever is happening has happened because of our karma and surrender whatever will happen whatever will be will be finally she said enlightenment makes you in yoga in union with the divine and because you realize that god is in you god is in me you feel that beautiful oneness with one and all what an amazing answer so lovely lovely and all of you today have given such beautiful answers everybody of the call has given such beautiful answers we will go last with ruma taji before we close ruma taji guru ji it prevents us from sinking into the materialistic world so what does it do can i give you in a little i always like to give it in poets poetry you know why i give it in poetry i give it in poetry because you can remember it so she said something but she didn't tell it in poetry so i'm going to tell you in poetry sanjay das i hope you are feeling good enlightenment enlightenment stops you from an extra dose 
of what you think and blink and think. What do you do? The mind makes you think and blink and think. But what does enlightenment do? Enlightenment cuts your strings. Rumataji, enlightenment cuts the strings and give you wings to fly. Enlightenment cuts the strings and give you wings. This is enlightenment. Enlightenment is mukti. Enlightenment is azadi. Enlightenment is freedom. If you truly want to live a life of bliss, of joy, my dear friends, I have given up my life. I have given up everything in my life for enlightenment. I have given up everything. In fact, I have made it a mission to help people reach that de destination enlightened. Why have I done it? Because I realize this life is meaningless. I realize this life is just a show. We come and we go. I realize that before this journey is over, we, we must live. We must not exist. We are the Atma. We are the Ruh. We are the soul to realize this is our ultimate goal. If we just live and we die and we are not enlightened about who am I, then we will look at the sky and we will cry and we will ask why. Because you don't realize who am I. But when you realize I am not I, when you realize I am not I, then when you die, you will become one with the divine. And this is enlightenment. Enlightenment. Shavon, yes, who's it? Ashok Nichani, Sarji. Ha, bolo, Ashok, bolo. Uh, it, uh, it purifies our inner side. Enlightenment, Ashok, purifies Purify. by switching on the lights. It switches on the lights and the mind tries to switch off the lights. What does the mind do? The mind tries to switch. It switches off the light so there's darkness. If there's darkness, you cannot see. Enlightenment switches on the light. And you can see bright and clear. You can see and you can be who you are meant to be. Not that rascal me. Not that mind and ego me. But enlightenment will let you be who you are meant to to be. It will take away all misery because you realize I am not me. Not the mind and ego me. So my dear friends, remember this. That if, you have to, if I have to exchange everything of my life with enlightenment, I'll give everything away. But I will not give my enlightenment. It is the most precious gift and you must not lose it. You must not lose your enlightenment. Because if you lose your enlightenment, you lose everything. I apologize because of my COVID. I may not have spoken well. My voice may not have been sounded so good. I apologize. But uh, I had three doses of Ricola. This is not whiskey. Some of you think I'm having whiskey. This is Ricola. Special throat, herbal tea for the throat. And uh, that helped me to be able to cope. But I hope I'll be better tomorrow. And we will continue an interesting discussion on enlightenment tomorrow. I bow down to all the sip, all of you who appear as you, but you are not you. You are the supreme immortal power. And I bow down to the supreme in each one of you. All the best. Get well.